Well, I agree with the Worldwide Crime Watch, the Coronado Clarion, and uh, anyone else who wants to take credit for this report. Um, I'm watching a phenomenon, I'm recording a phenomenon, the Pokemon craze. Now, it's 1 a.m., Sunday night, all of these people are out playing Pokemon. Yes, I said it, and I'll say it again, playing Pokemon. I just passed three or four people, a mother, a father, and an infant child in a stroller. The child was asleep. I don't think that, the child was playing, but they were. There you go, group over here playing. Another group on this sidewalk over A mass of people over here landed at that day and night cafe, which has become a hot spot here now. Kind of culty underground overhand, around the back, up the front, and whatever you want. Look, the average person is about 20 something. And this phenomenon has been going on for like this one game has been going on for like a couple of weeks now only. And it's growing and growing and growing every day. And to me, it looks like the 60s when you know people would come out and buy concert tickets in the middle of the night and do stuff. But this is far more exciting because it's the technology is wizardry. And uh, it's like it, it's worthy of recording. People at 1 a.m. on their phones playing a game, catching a little wizard, or whatever it is. I think it's an underground cult for some kind of like emo fight club, you know, where people, after it, they go meet up after the game's over and beat each other with balloons and feathers and violent things like that. Well, violent for emos. There you go. Did you catch Pokemon? Yeah. Good man. Multiple. Multiple, there you go. Hey, what happens? Does the winner die or what do you get? What's the prize? A thousand dollars. thousand bucks? Yeah. Come on. That's it. I knew there was a way you could get a bet on going on to this. Oh, that guy looked like he just smoked something from the bowels of the earth. Like Satan would smoke. One of those, uh, you know, those vaporizers or whatever they call them. Well, there you go. Oh, if I'd have been at home right now at 1 a.m., I'd have been like waking up with arthritis and it's good for me to get out, but even this is extreme for an old man like me. Now let's take a look at these emos. Well, actually, they're not emos, they're too old. Emos have all gone and died. Stand by. Now, if it was like 1968, they would be hippies. They kind of look like hippies, but they're not because they're kind of juppies, zuppies, ruppies, or whatever you call these days, millennial, millennial. Somebody was smoking a vaporizer they almost passed out with it fragrance but there you go it's like you can't talk to them until the game's over and then did you win anything it's up over there oh did you win anything win anything yeah a couple things good here you go see you kind of like did you catch pokemon yeah what you get oh just different kinds like what show me one oh hold on a second i'm still loading so. okay well, anyway, it's a wonderful little phenomenon to see people out at one in the morning and not in the bars drinking and getting drunk. This crowd doesn't look like they go to bars and hang out. They're doing something interesting. How you doing? I heard Pokemon's running for office. Would you vote for him? What's that? Pokemon running for office. Would you vote for him? Nope. Okay. But you play him, huh? It's a game, not a person. Man, that was profound. Tokyo Man is a game, not a person. Shit, I had him down for a person. Well, there you have it. It's the level of communication here. It's kind of like incommunicado, com communicado, kind of go away, leave me alone, but I don't mind talking to you in a minute, but right, right now, or something like that, right? <laughs> it's, it's pokey, stop, man, speak, or what? It's a new kind of language. I'll grant for the Coronado Clarion. No, it's not a funeral. No, it's not a wake. No, it's not a rock concert. No, people are not waiting to buy tickets for Journey, which is, they don't have tickets for Journey anymore. It's a Pokemon stop. Oh, it's called a Pokey stop. I think that's what they call it right now. I don't see any Pokey. Is Pokemon going to make an appearance in live, you think? Pokemon? I heard Pokemon is coming to make an appearance. No? I don't know. Okay. See what I mean? We're, all, we're talking like sub-species communication. This looks like I know this guy. Excuse me, could you give me a ride, please? I'm lost. How are you going to pay that, sir? Oh, could you, you take like it out? Party? Yeah, yes, I do. You do. <laughs> you. 
see three, two perverts sitting here waiting for unsuspecting customers to come by. Listen, how much is it more than four dollars? I'm not playing. Four dollars. I've just all I've got is four dollars. Could without would that take me two blocks with an Uber? Who do you think you are coming down here with only four dollars? That's all I have. <laughs> Don't be brutal, please. How are you going to party with four dollars? Easy. A glass of water and some wine gums. What? what? Make my own drink. Vicious. People are vicious. There's not a violent bone among them, by the way. They're all kind of like, you know, lay back. But I, I, I'm happy to see they're not all in getting blasted in a bar. They're out doing something even more mindless. Well, not really. Well, there you are. That's my report. I'm sticking to it. I'll go get some close-ups of people doing, pointing and listening to what they have to say. In the meantime, the cafe is empty. All the emos are out on the sidewalk. But it's very cool. People are hanging out. My mother-in-law tried to come down here, but I made her go home. She would have spoiled everything. And there you have it, Al Graham for the Coronado Clarion. The bank was just robbed, but nobody noticed because they're all playing Pokemon. See that? Total news shock. And the movie theater was broken into, and all this went on. Everybody was playing Pokemon. Nobody noticed. I did. Well, there we have it. It's just the excitement is scintillating. It's the sidewalks are the sidewalks on my street are not the same. And these two. Dude, it's so intense. This is like close to gay. I mean, come on. This is the gay you've ever Two guys on the. recording on it. Yes, I am. But two guys on the sidewalk in a car looking at porn on the. Is touching each I'm, other, please. Wait, I'm sorry, what's wrong with that? Nothing. We're in the privacy of our own car, sir. 2016, bitch. As I just say, as long as you if get you had four, more than $4, dollars, you could come in here with us, but <laughs> you didn't plan ahead. <laughs> Listen, you two homo sapiens. I mean, I think homo sapiens and Lebanese should be left to their own device, don't you? I don't know. I don't have an opinion on that. Speaking of, speaking of homo sapiens, where's fucked up Chris? I don't know who that is. He's working. He, is he well, there you go. Nothing's going to happen here. I'm just going to have to get naked, I think. I'll do a couple of cartwheels. Maybe that'll like, turn things on. Almost a near violent act broke out here over a child's chair. These people were about to kill each other. I intervened and stopped them. <laughs> Did you meet up with Pokemon today? Or what's the uh, little thing? Yeah, and I had a chair, but he took it, so. Violence. I saw the inherent in the system, the violence of that man. Oh, He's yeah. probably done time. For you know, it's all the Poke battles, you know? <laughs> <laughs> all the Poke battles. Hey, no molesta mi bicicleta. Por favor. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. My bike fell over and these people were assisting me. That's nice. There's the little stolen chair, big fella on the little chair. Now that's an image for you. In a violent gang fight, he won. The other guy went to the hospital. But that's the way it goes when you're in these Pokemon wars. Well, I like Pokemon stuff. Another one up the town, they're offering Turkish uh, towels and massages and uh, Okay, there's a little extra stuff you can get massage or you can there's a used car salesman up there too i know everybody's getting in there the whole craze oh they're selling ice cream up there look at that next thing you know there'll be pokemon stuff being sold it'll probably be sold by me <laughs> oh i see an emerging trend here i truly do middle of the night sales point of contact sales of almost like i see an item here like a little battery charger that you can carry with you and you can buy them now. And you don't have to keep going home and recharging your phone. So you carry a little battery charger. I see that as an instant sale right here, right now, tonight. I bet you I get off a bunch of those if I had them, if I had them. I must say, any kind of impromptu gathering, there's always some kind of liability issues with people drinking and getting rowdy. But this crowd is very passive and it's really cool. They're all intelligent and they're subspecies here. They can all do the technology and uh, that rises to a level of intelligence beyond, you know, like just hanging out in the bar and getting all drunk. 
Uh, these are more productive folk, young too. All the millennials or whatever. Groovy kind of. She's saying something awfully violent to an old man. And so I'm just about to burst into tears, but and I'm not even filming it. She's still flipping me off. What did I do to deserve such violence? I'll grab for the local paper, the corner of the Clary. I'm being assaulted by a female who hates me. Hey. And I don't even know. Hey, brother. How good you to doing? see you. It's my neighbor. <laughs> even oh, he's I'm down cool. here. my age now. It's 1 a.m. and people are gathered in my community, and someone who's not from my community just gave me the most violent finger pointing, what do you call it? Well, she made a gesture, let's say it like that. And I'm just so perplexed, my heart is beating, I had to sit down. After all my years of reporting, I've never seen such inherent, uh, what shall I say, projected violence. Oh, gasp. For a 72-year-old man in the field, it's hard to take. But fortunately, my son is on hand over here. He can pick me up and take me to the hospital if I should faint or from the pressure. But on the other hand, it's back, getting back to how cool it is, it's like young people out doing something kind of interesting rather than just getting drunk and blasting their brains out. And they're all pretty, pretty nice people, mostly. <laughs> Here's my son. Thank you, son. I've just been wickedly assaulted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bye. What? I have. A girl over there, I was sitting here talking and she just went, and I went, oh, and I turned around and she went, where are they? So I've been nice to her. I didn't want to show her face, but she was violent to me. So I sat down for relief. Well, there goes my son back to his game. People are just rolling up on bikes, people are just driving by. It's really kind of cool. The lady's rolling on bike again. The sprinklers just came on, just cleared the whole uh, median house. <laughs> and now it's all wet, so you don't want to go back there anyway. What was that, sailor? What did you say? Would you like a ride home? Son, I've got a bike here. What are you like? Something's wrong with you. Are you having fun? Yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. I, I noticed all the people ran away like burning, you know, people with their hair on fire because the sprinklers came on. Just scattered them. If their hair was on fire, they'd want to eat That was good. <laughs> well, listen, guys, it's been, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been. It's been shitty, huh? been all right <laughs> kind of semi good but there you go take it easy drive careful See hey ya. you know what I like about this the, all these people are not out guzzling their brains in a bar That's true. they're, they're doing it they're doing at least something intellectual semi intellectual anyway oh there you have See it. You okay bye man the F off too she's having a nice little ice cream bar that girl over there was horrible Ooh, she was really mean I've never even met her. Usually I get thrown out of places a couple of minutes after. Looks like he looked like a lazy boy. His wife probably wouldn't let him have it in the house, so he took it out for a ride. Anyway, out of all the people I met tonight, there was just one oof, awful one over there. She's got some kind of violence inside her that I didn't like, but so I'm moving away from that. I don't like that kind of violence. So you have to pay like 99 cents to get what? Basically you get like Poke Coins oh. and you can buy Pokeballs or lure modules, stuff like that. But it's all virtual, you can't... Yeah, it's all virtual stuff. So if you had a little coin, that, was, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Yeah, but it's all virtual stuff. Through the yeah, phone. very good. So how much do you spend on this average? I haven't spent anything yet. You've been playing for a while, it's been going on two weeks this game in particular, yeah. right? So how much would you say you spent playing it? Buying oh, playing it? Yeah. Roughly. Like, like roughly like four days, like wow. hours wise. And how much money have you put out? None. So you said you buy stuff with real money. Yeah, but I don't I don't buy stuff. Well what do you buy? What can you buy? Yeah. 
Uh, just Pokeballs and like lure modules. And do, but people do it, right? Yeah, some people do it. They spend yeah. hundreds of dollars. They do. Yeah. That's what I'm interested in. Yeah. Well, all right, lads. It's been cool. I like the group because they're not all in bars drinking and getting their brains rotted. They're out <laughs> doing something smart. Yes. Yeah, now, you know, this is a precursor to the future because the same action you're doing on it will be a job one day. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't that be great? A Pokemon job, man. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. So they were pleasant very much, she gave me some information. That girl over there was oh, awful, ugly spirit. Hi, lad. Hello. You like pale ale, do you? Huh? Pale ale. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, look out, see? <laughs> we're all scattered again. Look at that. Isn't that great? See, get off, go away, go home, or at least get off this grass home. an asshole driving speeding through town. <laughs> just, just hope it doesn't kill some poor family in the crosswalk or something. Nice if he ran into a brick wall and killed himself, but more than likely the law of averages tell us that he'll more than likely hurt someone else and he'll probably come out of it drunk safe because he was so drunk that he was relaxed. Sickening. Well, as I say, God will get him. So there's activity over there. Somebody just took a flying leap into the sky. I guess he won something. That was the most aggressive thing all night. The sprinklers came on. Oh! I was so, say, what is there not a lot of Pokemon out here? No, there is. There's, a, there's a, all the Pokestops out here. Pokemon. So, Pokemon. what? Water, that's all it was. Pokemon? Oh, no, I don't know. It was wet. Yeah. Oh, that's a vapor. Look at that. Look at that. A lot of smoke comes up of this. So the battle over the little chair rages on. A little while ago, this guy jumped up in the air and was jumping for joy. And when he jumped up, he stole the chair. So the yeah. battle rages on. It's next, a civil war. Next thing you know, they'll be pulling knives on each other. I'm getting out of here before that happens. These two uh, homo sapiens are in this girl. Now there's a girl over here. She came in her evening wear. She's got a slip right up to her. All the way off her, off her leg to her. See, oh, look at that. She's coming out here to do fashion. He's a vaporizer. So these are kind of vapor, techie, cyber people. Vaporizers, right? Yeah. And this lady's, there's a song called uh, Twisting a Night Away by Sam Cooke of the 60s. And it goes, Here's a man in evening clothes. How he got it, I don't know who. But man, you ought to see him go. Twisting the night away. Well, there you are. About the Wells Fargo here. It's 1.30 in the morning. The Pokemon craze is in full effect. It's been going on for two weeks. Next thing I expect is like Mario Brothers games or Popeye or all the other retro stuff to be brought out. I don't know why it's just Pokemon, but apparently there are a series of games you can buy. But Pokemon seems to have clicked. clicked. This has been going on for two weeks and there's stops, pokey stops they call them, all over town. There have been all kind of people of every stripe, usually about the same age, 20 something. Oh, oh, shit. And he says he wants something. No, he lost something. We don't know. But this is the magnificence of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the middle of the night and people are not, it's Monday morning. Are you going to work tomorrow? Sorry? You going to work in the morning? I, I, go, I go to school. Oh, well, you, to school you can hang here then, no problem, very good. So if you had to have a regular job, I, mean, I don't know how you'd pull this off. I mean, maybe they're just like, you know, they've got part-time jobs or whatever. But there you have it.
You guys getting lucky yet? Big time, man. Every Did day. you see that speeding asshole in a pickup truck yeah, come I through? I hope he runs into a concrete wall. More than likely he won't. He'll hurt somebody else. But yeah, there somebody. you have it. And there you have it. Did you get him on tape? I sure did. Super asshole. <laughs> Okay, we appear to be breaking up here. There's a biker came in. How you doing, son? How are you? Groovy. How long have you been playing this? For a couple of days. Really cool, huh? People gathering in the middle of the night to do all kinds of cool stuff. Yes, not bad. There you have it.